Hey everyone, it's Shane, the building biologist, and I wanted to share why earthing mats or grounding mats can become problematic. Um, here's a, one such example on the couch, just a typical type of earthing mat, and I have my gauss meter um, set up to take some readings and show you. And then the mat plugs in there to the ground on the bottom of this receptacle. But the problem is when you tie it into the home electrical system that you can actually bring energy and it's called an AC electric field closer to you. I'm going to zoom in here, turn the meter on. And you can see it's around about 23 volts per meter. We'd like this number to be around 1.5 per the building biology guidelines. And I'll just demonstrate now when we unplug it from the wall, what kind of reduction we get. So you can see when it's unplugged now it's less than 10, it's about seven, seven and a half. So it's a significant cut in the exposure that you have to this type of radiation. And it's generally problematic to plug it into your home electrical system. The best if you want to use this type of device is to actually run a cable outside and terminate it with a metal rod in, that's actually in the soil. And this will keep you away from any kind of issues within the home electrical system, which um, most homes do have, which is why it's not recommended to tie a ground mat into those. So, hope you found this helpful. Definitely subscribe and click the notification button so you can get uh, future tips and tricks like this to lower your EMF exposure.